Bonjour friends, it's me, Brady K. Back, back, back again with a new video. <laughs> it's been a while since I filmed anything. Also, this angle is gonna be kind of weird. It's, I don't have my normal um, setup. So you're on my tripod, which is on top of my vanity right now. So it's a little above where I normally look at, which is usually like here. But I don't know, I like the lighting, so I, I think it works. Um, today, I just wanna talk about Ball State. Um, why I picked Ball State, why I love Ball State, kind of that stuff. I'll just start with why I picked Ball State. Um, so, my dad and my mom both were in the Navy for nine years. Um, and my dad is a disabled veteran. So, um, I get certain benefits from the state of Indiana. Like, um, the fact that they pay my tuition. <laughs> Um, so there's a list of colleges in Indiana that I can go to for, not free, but if I go there, they'll pay my tuition. Um, I don't really want to brag about that, but, um, that's just the truth. Um, the state of Indiana pays my tuition, which is really nice. I would not be able to go to school without that benefit, but, um, so the list of schools was like IU, Purdue, Ball State, uh, IUPUI, Vincennes, Ivy Tech. I'm way too anxious to go to a big school like that to like to a big school like IU or Purdue. Um, I did a summer camp at IU for journalism. It was just too big for me. I know that I would get lost and I would be late because I would leave too late and it was too big. I knew that there would be a billion hundred bajillion people and I just wasn't into it. So I was looking for someplace smaller. Um, still on the list. Uh, ISU was one of the schools because I toured there and I didn't really like it. So when I made my first trip, my first visit to Ball State, I fell in love. I love campus. I love Ball State's campus. I think it's so pretty in the fall, especially, yeah, especially in the fall, it's really pretty. I'm gonna put some pictures here of Ball State's campus while I'm talking because I think it's so pretty. And I, Ball State's campus is so cool because everything is kind of centralized with the scramble light and then down the road, Riverside or McKinley, I don't fucking know, one of the two. But everything is there and then it just branches out. So really you can go to the middle of campus, find everything you need and then leave. Another big thing that was really important to me was location. I, think I wanted to move away from home, but I wanted some place where I could still go home easily. Like my dream school is totally NYU, but one, I don't have that kind of money. Two, that's so far away. And three, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> um, but Ball State is only like uh, 60 miles from home. So it's like an hour, hour and a half drive, depending on how fast I go. <laughs> so that was a big thing. That's a big thing for me because I like the fact that when I'm Ball State, I f it's like, I don't feel like I'm at home. Like I feel at home there, but it's far enough away that I feel like I moved away from home. And I really like that because having the place that feels like home is also your school. Um, makes balancing it really easy because it's all right there. Um, what else? Why I picked Ball State? Um, obviously, the price. It's not super expensive to go there even without benefits. They offer lots of financial aid. They offer lots of scholarships. So also I picked Ball State because of the teaching program. Um, Ball State's teacher college, teachers college is so great. We have one of the best education programs, I think, in the state. Here's a picture of the teacher's college. Um, it is really, it's a quality education that is about volunteering and being involved and knowing your stuff and being diverse and inclusive. And I just, oh, I love, I love the education program because I think it's so unique to each student, but at the same time, anyone can do it. Um, but it's really rigorous and the classes are really fucking hard right now. I mean, Ball State, when I was in, when I was a senior in high school, Ball State was the only school that I applied to because um, it was the only place that I really wanted to go. Uh, I didn't want to apply to any of the bigger schools on the list because I just wasn't, um, I didn't want to go there. That was just not my thing. I just, none of the other schools on the list I felt would be good, a good match for me. So I only applied to Ball State and I got in and ever since then it's been, you know, the best time of my fucking life. I could not see myself going anywhere else. The food is like fine. <laughs> it's not like it's really disgusting food, but I'm at that point 
where I'm tired of eating the same things. The food is good. I mean, we've got a Chick-fil-A, we've got Papa John's, we've got a Taco Bell, we've got a Starbucks. I mean, and we've got, you know, you can personalize things and there's a lots of lots of vegetarian and some vegan options and there's lots of different ways to eat what you want. Uh, the dorms at Ball State really aren't as bad as they are, like, as dorms are, as, like, you see on TV. My, well, I lived in a really nice dorm my freshman year, but, <laughs> nah, that's not saying anything, but the, the, like, kind of the worst dorms on campus, the only really bad thing is that they don't have AC. If you can get a doctor's note, you can get an air conditioner or, you know, just deal with it because it's not really that hot for that long on campus. It starts to cool down really by the by mid September if you can last a couple weeks it's fine and I have uh, I have friends that live in the dorms without AC and they say that it's kind of unbearable for the first couple weeks but after that it's fine and I mean I have never really had problems living in the dorms um, I've never had problems getting a shower things like that you know it's it's safe to live there the doors lock automatically after midnight you either way during the day you have to swipe your Ball State ID to get in I mean that's I guess that's really it. I love Ball State because it's easy to find, easy to get around. The food is not bad. It's not the best food in the whole entire world, but it's really fine. It's pretty good. Um, the classes are really good. They they challenge you, which is really good because I feel like in a, a, in school you need to be challenged in order to actually learn. Um, and they're really good about that because some of the classes that I'm taking this semester and next semester are really hard. I'm gonna talk about some places on campus that I really love. Um, the first one I have to say is the library. I love Bracken Library, Club Bracken. <laughs> Bracken, to me, is a really, it's really nice. It's, the architecture is really cool. It's designed really well. The library, to me, makes me a lot more productive if, if I go alone. If I go with my friends, I just sit there and talk, but if I go to the library alone, I know that I'm gonna get, that, that's when I have to get shit done. When I gotta get work done, I go to the fourth floor of Bracken, I've got my chair picked out. Um, other places on campus that I love, the Atrium, which is one of our dining facilities. Um, I just love the really big, it's got really big windows, so there's a lot of light that comes in, that's also where Chick-fil-A is, so. Um, other places. The art museum, actually the David Owsley Museum of Art um, on campus is really nice. It does not feel like you're on a college campus when you're in there. It feels like you're, you are in a real art museum and I love that. They've got art from around the world from different periods of history and they have some modern art. They're always changing to add more art that more people, that everyone will love. And I think that's really cool. I love going to like musicals and I'm a big musical person, theater person, and our theater program is one of the best. I love our theaters. I specifically love the Cave Theater. I think it's such a small venue that you really get like a personal show. So if you're a high school senior out there, I would consider looking at Ball State for education or for theater because, well, and everything else, but education, theater, art, Things like that I love at Ball State. I think we've got really good programs. We have a really nice campus. It's It feels like home to me. And that was one of the biggest things is that I wanted a campus that felt like home. So, I mean, that's really it. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit down. I haven't filmed a video in a while, so I wanted to get something out and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Go cards, chirp, chirp. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!